shoe up there. to exercise and stuff, which makes sense. The weather's really good, it's really hot though. Kind of reminds me of this story that I thought was interesting. It says here, mastering martial arts means raises for Sam's Club employees. I believe Sam's Club is just a store in the US, correct? It says here, learn martial arts, get a raise at Sam's Club. That's the deal the company is offering and about a quarter of the workers are eligible to enroll. This could really add up with what they're offering for what it says here anyway. It says earning an orange belt means an hourly pay raise of 50 cents. A blue belt will add another $1.50 per hour. A black belt will really rake in the big bucks with a $5 an hourly raise. That's kind of crazy. An extra $5 an hour for a work that you normally do just to get like say here like a black belt. That's a significant increase. $5 an hour. What's the minimum wage down there? Like seven, six or something like that? So I'd imagine that's pretty big. I would imagine part of the reason for that program is to, I guess, have a better retention rate in the company because I could imagine people would want to quit whereas something like that would give you an incentive to actually stay. Like I read before, every employee when they quit or something like that, it cost the company $2,000 to $3,000. But it's kind of interesting just to see companies actually willing to reward people in that permanent type of way to just be fit, I suppose. Because I would imagine, unless it's the other way around, <laughs> our company is so dangerous you need to learn self-defense. And then I saw this interesting slash disastrous video because a lot of people often talk about starter drones or ones just to take pictures. So I was reading about this one. It's the Air Selfie 2 Pocket Drone. It's that really tiny one basically. It's meant for you literally just to throw it up in the air, capture something quick and that's it. But they were trying to demonstrate, I believe, like it's in a trade show or some of that. But because it uses Wi-Fi for the signal, it couldn't operate properly. So because of that, it started, I guess, going everywhere, crashing. You don't actually get to see it, but you can see the reactions and stuff. Whoa, it's gonna fly up, throw it up a little bit. And we're, gonna, we're gonna bring it back if we can bring it back. So we got a lot of Wi-Fi going on here, which I can tell we do because it just wants to go away from us. So what's happening uh, it's right It's gonna now crash. I think we're gonna lose it right there. Is, we are having an experience well, of convention Wi-Fi. We've got convention right Wi-Fi. <laughs> here it comes, here it comes. It's coming, it's, coming. Uh, it's coming down. Oh! Let's try it one more time. Okay, let's try okay. this one more time. Okay, we're gonna go three, two, one. We might have to, to well, go back and calibrate, but Let's talk yeah, about what this perfect, does first. Perfect. I guess when you're thinking of buying a new drone, the type of connection could be just as important, huh? As opposed to just always focusing on things like the camera and all that. Because in this case, like with the Wi-Fi, I could imagine there's way too much interference. That's kind of an unfortunate situation for them, for the company, but I guess as the buyer, that's just an example of how you should look into stuff like that. Easiest neighbors ever in terms of the birds and stuff. Is that the king or something? Yoga poses.
All right, see you guys later.